<clears throat> oh, Henry, how nice of you to join us. Get out your reading book, Henry. You are lucky enough to be invited to Margaret's extra special VIP sleepover, my house tonight. P.S. No boys allowed. What? Did you see something, Henry? Uh, no, Miss Battleaxe. Ouch! Stop it, Henry! And ah! what, may I ask, is this? So, Henry, it seems that you've been invited to Margaret's sleepover. Uh, yes, I mean, no, Miss Battleaxe. Well, Henry, I would be inclined to believe you, as it does say here, no boys allowed. Phew! But on the other hand, you were in possession of this invitation, and that means you are invited. No! Think of it as your homework, Henry. What do you mean? Well, tonight, Henry, you're going to be an honorary girl. <gasps> and you can tell us all about it tomorrow. If you survive that long, Henry. <laughs> no! Oh, I think it's so nice that you're going to Margaret's sleepover. Sleepovers are such fun. Yeah, they are. The ones without girls. Oh, don't be silly, Henry. You're going to have a great time. Now, let's see what we've got. Cool. Are they all for me? Not so fast, Henry. These are for you to share with the girls. Great. I knew it was too good to be true. There. Now, ready to go? Oh, this is so exciting. Well, if you're so excited, why don't you go then? Don't be horrid, Henry. Now, off you go and enjoy yourself, or else. This could be the worst night of my life. <laughs> Observant of you will have noticed that I left the house with two bags, but now I only have one. Well, you didn't think I was going to waste good snacks on that beetle brain, did you? This could be the last time you'll ever see me, so perhaps we should say goodbye now. After all, we've been together for a long time. Come in, Henry. We've been waiting for you. Oh, uh, right. It's been nice knowing you. Well, have fun, everyone. Bought any snacks, Bogey Brain? Yeah, any snacks, Bogey Brain? No, Bogey Brain. Why not, Bogey Brain? Yeah, why not, Bogey Brain? Because, Bogey Brain! Get on with it, Bogey Brain. Get on with what, Bogey Brain? Yeah, with what, Bogey Brain? Your VIP sleepover, Bogey Brain. Yeah, your VIP sleepover, Bogey Brain. I... Uh, uh, oops. It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Oh, come on, come on. I've got a climbing frame to get to. <laughs> Not if I have anything to do with it. Oh, yeah? You and whose army? Me and my army, Mr Bossy Big Boots. My girl power army, a.k.a. the Secret Club. Oh, yeah? The Purple Hang Gang could beat the Secret Club any time. That's what you think, Henry. <laughs> You were saying we can't let them get away with this. What are we going to do now, Henry? We're going to reclaim our climbing frame. Come on, Henry. Let's play football. They're not worth it. Today the climbing frame, tomorrow the world. What does that mean? I don't know. We will fight them on the playground. We will fight them on the playing fields. We will fight them on the... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, Henry. Didn't know how long you'd be. See what I have to put up with? What you gonna do now, Henry? 
We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't over till it's over. Lunchtime, girls. What do we want? Our oh, climbing framework. Where do we want it? Uh, uh, <gasps> where have they all gone? Who cares? Victory is ours. I know where they've gone. Look, it's lunchtime. Hey, come on. If we go to lunch now, we'll never get the climbing frame back. Don't let them get the better of you now. Oh, I can see stew. Lots of it. Oh, I'm so hungry I could even eat stew today. What's a pudding, Graham? More stew. 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 Oh, right all right, right then. then. We'll go to lunch. But you're in charge while we're gone. Um. Any reason why not? I don't know. Exactly. It's just till we get back. And remember, don't let anyone on the climbing frame while we're gone. Especially girls. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's lunchtime, Bert. Aren't you going to have any lunch? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Come on, we've got to hurry. Hey, Bert, enjoy the stew. Hang on a minute. If Bert's going to lunch, then who's guarding the climbing frame? I don't know. <laughs> This time, it's personal. It's so easy being me. I'm hard and real. He's done. No! I think it sounds like a very good idea. It was the boss's idea. We're all doing it at Tingly Toothbrushes. We'll start tomorrow. Now, where were we? Anyone see my tie anywhere? We're going to be late. Hurry up, Henry! We need to leave now. But I haven't had my breakfast yet. Seven o'clock, Henry. <laughs> Four minutes to get dressed and downstairs for breakfast. Here are your individual timetables. Timetables? Yes. Everything has a set time. Eating breakfast, five minutes. Clearing the table, two minutes. Going to the toilet, half a minute, and so on. What about important stuff, like watching TV? It's all on the sheet. Watching TV five minutes after supper. Five minutes? Yes, Peter? Happy Hippos is longer than five minutes, Dad. What about all the programmes I want to watch? Hmm. You've wasted one minute of breakfast time arguing. Better get a move on. Finished! Excellent. Two minutes. So can I put the other four minutes towards watching TV? Five takeaway two is three, Henry. So it's three minutes, not four. And no, you get extra time to brush your teeth instead. Right then. Clearing table, one minute thirty. But I... Hurry up. Ready to leave in ten seconds. Henry, ten, nine, eight. Huh. Just in time. See? I knew you could do it. Keep up the pace, boys. Four minutes thirty. Let's really push it to the limit. That was funny. 
beats walking, and we saved eight minutes. Hooray! Have a good day, boys. You're nice and early. Move over, worm! It's gross class zero time! Hey! I was watching that! At least I was going to. Telly time's over. Check your timetable. It's bedtime now. But it's only half past seven! We've got an early start in the morning. Ooh, then we do need an early night. Worm. There, didn't I tell you? So much better than rushing around all the time. Mm. No one was late for school and there were no fights or arguments. <sighs> in a few weeks' time, this will be our normal routine. A few weeks? Of course. Today was just the start. If we cut down on talking, it could save a whole five minutes. I was still reading. Reading time, seven and a half minutes. It's on your timetable. It's so easy being me. I'm Now, run along, lad. But... Oh, I I've got a message for you, sir. Have you now? Yeah, it's from Miss Oddbod. Miss Oddbod, you say? Yes, sir. She said that she wants to meet you after school. She said that? She wants to meet me after school? Uh, yeah, that's what she said. At last. Can I go now, sir? Oh, yes, sir. Off you go, lad. got a message for you to deliver. Oh, right. It's for Miss Oddbod. Ah, oh, right. Tell her I was thinking of trying out a new restaurant. <laughs> Teachers can be so weird. Henry, get back into class now. But I'm delivering a message for Mr Soggington. Oh, really? Mr Soggington? What did he say? Um, he said he wants to try out a new restaurant. Oh, my. Did he say when? Um, after school, I think. But, uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling that everything's just about to go very wrong? Pay attention, Henry. Everyone may leave except Henry. It's not what you've done, Henry. It's what you're about to do. I need you to ask Mr Soggington a question. Can't you ask him yourself? Oh, no, Henry, I can't. Oh, all right, then. What's the question? The question is, what should I wear? What should you wear? He'll know what I mean. <laughs> now, run along, Henry. Ugh, what's that? Stew. Hello, Henry. Got any more messages for me? Uh, yeah. Miss Battleax was asking what she should wear. Miss Battleax was asking what she should wear? Are you sure, lad? Well, that's what she said, sir. Oh. Oh. Overalls. Tell her she should wear overalls. Overalls? Uh, yep. I always wear overalls when I'm tidying up the gym cupboard. Tell her I'll see her there. What did he say, Henry? Who, oh, miss? Sidmouth, uh, I mean, Mr Soggington. Did he say what I should wear? Yes, overalls. Overalls? Overalls? Well, overalls it is then. <laughs> oh, a miss? Yes, Henry? He said he'd see you there. Where? I don't know. The gym cupboard, I think. The gym cupboard? Ooh. The gym cupboard restaurant. Oh, how romantic. I'm not getting a good feeling about this. Not good at all. It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Margaret, 
I love you. Will you marry me? Signed, Henry! What? Ooh-ee! Hmm. Oh, poor lovesick boy. Oh, he can't help it. I'm just so lovable. Hey! No wonder Henry wants to marry me. He doesn't. He wants to marry me. Look, he wrote me a love poem. To beautiful Susan. What? Oh, Susan, no one's pretty as you. You always smell lovely, just like shampoo. <laughs> he means dog poo. No, he doesn't. He loves me. Oh, he's cheating on me already. I'll show him. Pen! I fired him. I've got a message from Margaret. Do you really like my shampoo? Huh? Is that your message? Fine. Be like that. Here. I wouldn't marry you if you were the last person on Earth, including slimy toads and rattlesnakes. So there, Margaret. What? <laughs> A note in it. And why did you send me that poem? I did it! Henry loves Margaret. Henry loves Margaret. Peter, did you see anyone going into the secret club with a note? No, he didn't. And, and neither did we. Hmm. I wonder who did it then? Do you have any enemies? Me? No, uh, of course not. Well, maybe one or two. Of course! I know who it is! Please! I'm only little! It's got to be Ralph! Huh? Ralph? Ralph? Ralph loves playing jokes! Yes! Ralph is the Ralph! Ralph. Mm. And you could also be Graham, or Brian, or Al, or... That's it! Tomorrow at school! It's payback time. It's so easy being me. I'm <coughs> we could get a babysitter. No, we're going out as a family. <coughs> Henry! He's got the car keys again. Henry! I'm coming in there. <laughs> Henry, no! Not the toilet! He wouldn't, would he? <sighs> you didn't see that, Peter. Right, let's go. I can't wait! A chance to try new things! I love food. Well, um, all except beetroot. I love food too. Well, all except squid. Oh, and Dad doesn't like tomatoes. Well, I don't like anything except whoop whoopy burgers. I'm not going. That's that. All right, Henry, here's the deal. You come along, behave yourself, and eat everything on your plate, and I'll give you two pounds. Two pounds? Just for shoving a few mouthfuls of disgusting food in my mouth. Normally I have to do that for free. How about three pounds? Don't push it, Henry. OK, deal. What's my reward for being good? Goodness is its own reward, Peter, darling. Huh? It's very nice of Aunt Ruby to invite us to dinner at Restaurant La Poche. It won't be as good as Whopper Whoopi. They have real food. And your cousin Steve will be there too, boys. Oh, no! Not stuck up Steve!
Steve's my favourite cousin. Um, where shall I park? We park, sir, unless you happen to be the chauffeur. New car, Ruby? Oh, I'm not sure, darling. All our limos look the same to me. <laughs> what make is your car, Henry? Russ Bucket 2000? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that! Yes, isn't it fabulous? It's carved completely out of ice. I didn't think you'd be coming, Henry. I'm getting two pounds for eating everything on my plate. And I'm not getting anything because goodness is its own reward. Huh? Be, Be quiet, quiet, worm! It's so easy.